you welcome back to the channel today is december 18th 2022 here's your mold up by update for today well how's everyone feeling today is a vortex vortex day days of visit by three six and nine open up portals into other dimensions so today is a day to visit by nine the number nine is a portal day that opens up into the higher realms. I would say this is the heavenly realms. Okay, so the, today's 18th is a day divisible by nine. So, uh, how's everyone feeling? Uh, I feel like every video I'm going to talk about how intense is the energy is coming through. Many of us are already experiencing it. Okay, remember if you don't address it here with internal, it's everything's going to come to the surface. You're going to feel it very uneasy body cramps body aches you having breakdowns exploding on someone mm. you know if you have a lot of anger if you have a lot of uh emotions that you haven't addressed it's really important at this point in time to really sit with yourself okay and i've been doing some moldavite reiki and i noticed for those who are feeling the body aches just imagine your bodies, the seven chakras, the main ones, the seven huge energy vortex. So if you, all this energy is pounding in, you are this bubble. If you don't have an outlet, it's gonna you feel like you're going to explode. It's going to feel very uneasy. It's going to manifest into the physical, which is our body. And then when it comes to the physical, the surface, it's going to magnetize everything in our surrounding to trigger that emotions energies, trauma, whatever it is, to be released. By the, hand, by the way, I have Reiki hands. So, you can probably feel the energy coming through and out. Uh, it's very fascinating. The more I dive into Reiki, integrating with Moldavite, it's nothing like I've ever experienced before. I mean, Moldavite is like a whole league of its own, right? When you were working with like extra trust and it's like super high frequency it doesn't have to be an extra it's like super high frequency and so when the vibration is really high and really fast all these low dense emotions are gonna come up and out and so our body's recalibrating to this energy but then again moldova is 15 million years old uh that is up to 15 million years if you have lifetimes that, that goes back that far, right, an old soul, those trauma, those emotions are going to come up for us to address and release. And so when I integrate that with Reiki, this is the cool part. I notice even just sitting still like this morning, I felt, wow, this energy is coming through like very intense. Just sitting there, I felt all this energy coming through and out. Prior, if I haven't done so much work on myself, I would feel very tense. I and mean, again, this is the same thing as Moldavite, but uh, for those who work with Moldavite for some time, when we get more Moldavite coming through, you feel very uneasy. You don't know what's going on. Our reality outside, right? We're getting triggered, uh, losing jobs, moving jobs, moving out of old house or a uh, place. Everything in our surrounding that is no longer in resonance with the new version of you, it's going to vibrate out. Not saying that it won't come back, but if it's a person, if they've done the inner work and they're matching your frequency, they'll enter back into your field. And so, uh, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so okay, Moldavite Reiki. So here's the thing, when I, so all the energy is pounding in, if, you, if we've done the work, we're gonna be this clear vessel with energy to move through. But it's gonna, tackle like imagine your body is like all these different channels that are like all these different veins okay and the different veins holds if there's a block blocking somewhere in the body it's gonna try really hard to push out so yes i feel clear most of the time but i also notice oh there's a, like a deeper energy coming up like the heart chakra shock heart chakra energy is like times a hundred lately i thought i healed the heart chakra but like there's a deeper layer that comes up and keeps coming up and so with that is uh when i integrated with reiki this is the cool part these different master symbols when i open it 
I feel this stagnant energy that's it seems like it's been calcified for some time it starts breaking down and it's I can't explain it you just have to feel it and when it starts breaking down this energy I could feel the it opening up but like on a deeper deeper layer right a lot of times when you when we do these healings we heal it from layers at a time so the higher version of you next level version of you will lead you to the next person the next thing to do or the next um, tool to learn and it's gonna guide you to that one next step that's why that's why don't think too much far ahead because it may get overwhelming you may have worries and you may have split timelines okay when things get too overwhelmed the most important thing is to ask your intuition higher self this next level version of you as what's the one next step and when you can surrender in that it's going to lead you to exactly what you need to hear so if you're here there's a message here for you so this multi reiki i'm sharing it as i'm experiencing it myself when i work on these symbols to open up the body i feel it go through so many layers and the last couple of days i've been getting this really intense feeling of this this heartache uh or this longing for this soulmate energy to come through it's i'm to the point where i'm i'm like okay with where i am because i know that who i am who i'm being at this point in time just continue doing my work i know that whatever who is ever seeking me we will find each other okay because our the more you clear yourself as a vessel, it's going to resonate with the other, not, the, you're not like the whole version of you, right? I'm not even saying the other half because we're not completing each other. We're two whole versions of ourselves finding each other. And so, yeah, this last couple of days, I just felt like this really longing for this soulmate energy. And I feel this essence like really close again. It's been... This last two months, it's been on and out. Even my red thread, my red thread of fate, came back through. Okay, uh, this is a new one. The last one broke, or got uh, undone, and so this is a new one. This one I, I made like a uh, two months ago. I put it on the grid. I'm like, you know, whenever I meet this soulmate, the, like I know uh, they're here. Like uh, I'll know to give this person this the thread to them. So for right now, I feel like the soulmate is in physical form. I don't feel like it's me, right? I'm looking for myself, which is true. But when I am, <laughs> it's funny, like what if we go through this whole game and we find out like, wow, the person we're looking for is us, which is true. And I also feel like at this point in state of consciousness, I do feel like there's a physical form of a, a soulmate. Like I feel their essence. It's not me. So um, I just want to share that. And, uh, you know, I a lot of energy is coming up from the heart to open and clear and purge. And I, I it brought up, you know, if you have thoughts of a person that you can't stop thinking about, but they did something to hurt you or they didn't treat you the right way or like whatever they did to you wasn't, it didn't feel right but we're so blinded to it that we dismiss all of that look at that picture of the person like actually pull up a picture of them tune into their essence and sometimes a lot of times these photos we look back and it's it feels like it hurts like you feel this heartache in the heart when we are able to look at their photo be with it you'll notice this emotions coming up the pain the ache it's gonna come up very it's not even on the surface of it. it's like such a deep pain so deep within your soul that you I guarantee you it's not in just this lifetime for mine it was not this lifetime so I tune into the essence of this person originally I like I could even look at the photo but then uh, when I looked at their essence, I just felt the pain come up. 
and it was tuning into the pain i knew this was like repeated through multiple lifetimes and boom that was when i realized do the mold of reiki so i did it <laughs> i did it on a heart chakra it took several tries right because this calcified energy has been lodged for so long multiple lifetimes through the soul essence <clears throat> that when i did the clearing on it i felt it go straight through my heart back like not even out my back but like deep down my soul and but i feel it and i feel the energy leaving and dissipating and what's interesting is you know as the energy starts leaving my energy field my essence the thoughts of that person doesn't it's not like constantly in my head again right i don't constantly think about this person as much i don't yeah it's like their energy starts dissipating from my mind my thoughts and so uh yeah that's what that is what i'm uncovering about moldavite reiki so that being said uh how's everyone doing <laughs> energy is intense like with reiki if you uh so with reiki is you have to get attuned with a master a teacher they'll attune you like open you up and then you learn the different symbols yep there's a waiting period <clears throat> sometimes like three three weeks to a month for level one and then waiting period another <clears throat> about a month waiting period for the level two and then level three it's uh how long did i wait for like three or four months to get to the master symbols and that's where i am right now like with the master symbols it like goes through so many layers yeah if something is coming up to for you and it's too much then uh, i invite you to mold the reiki so we did one on the 1212 portal 1212 is a number of completion right uh jesus had 12 disciples uh there's for the moldavite sets that have 12 for each chakra uh so yeah we open up some so this next this next uh i'm thinking about doing it for 1221 the winter solstice this is a huge portal that's gonna open up open up right if we think 12 12 is completion then 12 21 1 12 2 1 it's it's like the yin and yang and we're in the middle of it that makes sense this is alignment i feel like this is when we balance out the a mirror it's like a mirror it's a reverse so the balance out the positive and the negative acknowledging these feelings and emotions are coming up to the surface okay i hope that makes sense um i'm gonna do another moldavite reiki on 12 21 for the winter solstice Tune in. If you're being called to join us, then join us. I'm going to put signups in the description. Uh, if you are going to join us, I would say have join in with the phone, your phone. And then as I walk you through, I'm going to have you put the phone on your heart as I walk you through a meditation. And then when, and also have a photo of that person that you uh, can't get out of your mind. Sometimes we, f we think about this person, you know, we would get these heartaches, would feel them. It's another thing when you actually see a photo of them and then you feel all these emotions come up to the surface. So yeah, two things. You're gonna join us, have a photo of that person uh, and join in with your phone. And then uh, I'll, I'll facilitate on where to put the, uh, the phone so I could do the symbols. That's all I have everyone here today. Uh, that's what, I feel called to do for this winter solstice and uh if you already have the tools to do what you need then keep doing it right right now is uh is it really important to be with ourselves acknowledge these emotions that are coming up and maybe you don't even need mold of reiki just allow yourself to feel these emotions through allows it to be released from your system and when you pair that up with mold of just imagine, just imagine it's like a pimple, right? You pop it on that one layer. With Moldavite, you are popping it to up to 15 million years, depending on how much Moldavite's there. So that's the best metaphor I could uh, explain to you guys on how this Moldavite Reiki works. But yeah, join us on 1221. Sign up's in the description below. 
that is what I'm being called to bring forth right now. Other than that, hang on for the ride, and then uh, I'll see you everyone for the next episode. Timmy Do, sign off. <laughs>